Hey guys, it's Danny. Happy Memorial Day weekend to everybody. Now, personally, I love this time of year because it symbolizes the beginning of summer and all of the fun barbecues and cookouts that are coming our way. So I thought, why not share three fun summer food recipes that can all be served on a stick? So I'm gonna be making a caprese appetizer stick, a garlic and ginger chicken kebab, and a fruit and brownie bite dessert stick. And since I'm showing you an appetizer, a main meal, and a dessert, you could very well make all of these for one cookout and make the whole theme of the party summer foods on a stick. So I'm gonna start with my caprese skewers. Now these could not be any easier to make. It's really just assembly only. So I've got some basic little toothpicks. And what I did is I bought some small mozzarella balls, some cherry tomatoes, and some basil. And then I sliced the mozzarella balls in half along with the cherry tomatoes. And I like to buy two different colored tomatoes just because it makes it prettier, but you could certainly do this with one color. And then you are just gonna alternate them on your toothpick. So I do half of a mozzarella ball, piece of basil, one of the cherry tomatoes, you wanna put it upside down so the flat side is facing down, another mozzarella ball, another piece of basil, and then finally, another cherry tomato on the bottom. And by cutting these cherry tomatoes in half like this, then when we put it onto the plate, they stand up in this little stack. And then you're just gonna repeat that until you've finished all of the mozzarella balls. So I have about 15 or 16 of them here, and I'm gonna go through all 16 of them. Once all of the assembly is done, right before you're ready to serve them, I just like to drizzle them with a little bit of homemade balsamic glaze right over the top. You could certainly buy this at the store or you can make it homemade yourself. This appetizer is simple, fun, delicious, and I know no other food combination that screams summer like fresh basil and tomatoes. Next up are my garlic and ginger chicken kebabs. Now guys, I am telling you, once you try this marinade, it's going to be your go-to marinade for your kebabs all summer long. Now here's all I do. Into a bowl, I just like to combine one tablespoon of fresh grated ginger, one tablespoon of crushed garlic, a quarter cup of honey, a quarter cup of soy sauce, then I've got two tablespoons of avocado oil, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and then I have one and a quarter pounds of boneless skinless chicken breasts that I cut into one inch cubes. Along with two bell peppers, I like to use two different colors just because again, it makes the food look beautiful. And I cut those into bite-sized chunks. And then one onion that I cut into bite-sized wedges. So I'm gonna get this all in the bowl. And I like to do this right into a bowl that has an airtight top. So I pop the top on and then I just shake it around in this bowl. And the longer you let this marinate, the better. You have to do it a minimum of three to four hours, but I prefer to do it for up to 24. And then every now and then when I pass it in the fridge, I just give it another shake, flip it around. And when it's time to cook, this is ready to go. Now, when you're ready to cook it up, here's all you're gonna do. You are going to grab your skewers. Now, personally, I like to buy and use these metal skewers because they're reusable and they don't burn when you put them on the grill. But if you are using wooden skewers, make sure you soak them in water for a while before you thread the ingredients on because they can burn on the grill if they are not soaked first, okay? But whatever you pick, here's what you're gonna do. Piece of chicken, piece of pepper, an onion, another piece of chicken, another pepper, an onion. And you're just gonna alternate that until you've got about four or five pieces of chicken on each skewer. And this recipe right here should get you about four skewers. Now, this recipe is super easy to scale up, so if you're serving more people, just double or triple the recipe. And for all my meal preppers out there, this is a great dish to add to your weekend meal prep. You just make a whole bunch of them on the weekend and then have them for during the week because they are absolutely delicious as a leftover. Now to cook the kebabs, I turn my grill onto a medium heat, I let it warm up, I wipe the grates with a little bit of avocado oil so nothing sticks, and then I pop my kebabs onto the grill, put the lid down, let it go for about six minutes, flip them, put the lid back down and go for another six minutes or so, or until they're cooked through and the outside is slightly charred. And FYI, for all my meal preppers out there, this is a great dish to add to your weekend meal prep because it's insanely delicious as a leftover. 
And finally, on to dessert, I am making my fruit and brownie bite kebabs. Now these are perfect for adults and especially for kids because you know the kids always want the brownies, us moms always want them to eat the berries, and so this gets everything on one stick and everybody is happy. Now the biggest decision that you need to make here is what brownie recipe you want to use. You could certainly use one of my clean and delicious brownies or you can use whatever your personal favorite brownie recipe is. Once you've decided on your brownie, you need to cut them into small bite-sized chunks. So I would say about one inch by one inch. So you've got little squares that you can stick on the skewer. Then I've got some fresh washed strawberries and some fresh washed blueberries. If the strawberries are really big, I slice them in half. If they're on the smaller side, then you could just leave them whole. Now I like to use a nine or 10 inch wooden skewer to make these. And all you have to do is alternate your fruit and your brownie bites. So here's how I like to do it. Strawberry, brownie, Blueberry, blueberry, strawberry, blueberry, blueberry, brownie, strawberry. How good does that look? And then you just keep going until you've made as many skewers as you want to be serving. And if you wanna make this dessert extra fun, you could serve it with a little bit of fresh whipped cream or Greek yogurt on the side for dipping. So there you have it guys, three clean and delicious, fun summer recipes on a stick that you can serve at barbecues and cookouts all summer long. And of course, now I wanna hear from you. Which of these three recipes do you think you'll try first? And or do you plan to make all of them together and have a party on a stick? Come on down to the comments below and let me know and give this video a big fat thumbs up if you like these recipes. And remember, if you guys wanna print this or any of my recipes, you can head on over to cleananddelicious.com. And if you're looking for inspiration all throughout your week, don't forget to follow me on social media. You can find me on Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Danny Spieth. I will see you back here soon with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Cheers and have the whole theme of the party be some fum 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 boom and it's absolutely del okay it's okay it's okay and then it goes in the fridge